So in terms of how I got involved in the industry, it was uh, this particular product. So I was enjoying Mackey's Raspberry Ripple. I don't know if anyone remembers that came out quite a number of years ago. I would bought it from a local uh, Morrison's. I was a student at the time. I was eating it on, uh, in my flat in King Street and up popped an advert for a university placement at Mackey's. So I applied and thankfully uh, I was successful. From there, I went back to university, finished my degree. So that was with Robert Gordon University who give you the option of having a year out um, in business, which was fantastic. Um, I finished that off and then Mackey's said, would you like to, to come back and work for us? So I went back to Mackey's and I worked as a sales administrator. So that was when I first realized that I do quite like sales. However, I found out that I definitely don't like administration. Um, so from there, uh, I, I just put, started progress with Mackey's and they started offering me some opportunities to look after some smaller sales accounts. And what that involved was um, speaking to customers, uh, organizing what products they took, what price they paid, and what um, promotions you would see in the likes of your supermarkets. I started uh, at, uh, looking after some slightly bigger sales accounts, and then we sort of uh, progressed on from there. So now I manage a, a team of people, and I manage um, sales of 50 million pounds. So it's been a, certainly been a, a great journey for me. So we make ice cream, we make crisps, we make ice cubes. We're the Scotland's biggest ice cube supplier. And we also uh, make chocolate bars. So we turned the tractor shed into a chocolate far, uh, factory. So we've got an array of products, but we've also got an array of, um, an array of jobs. So we employ around about 100 people. We're based on a farm. So farming plays a key part in what we do. We've got our cows and they give us the milk that we need and the milk goes to help us make our ice cream. So we've got um, people that look after the cows. We've also got um, people that look after the fields, um, sow the seeds and we grow the grass and we feed the grass to the cows. Um, and that is not a very technical way of describing farming. However, it's certainly well worth thinking if you're somebody who likes to be outdoors a lot, somebody who likes um, interacting with animals, then farming is certainly worth thinking about. And there's not enough young people going into farming. So it's certainly a career path um, that has great opportunities. We run the place with uh, renewable energy. So we've got four full-size wind turbines. We've got 7,000 solar panels and we've got four biomass boilers. This brings with it jobs. So all these pieces of machinery, um, whether that be wind turbines or solar panels, they all bring employment opportunities. We need um, engineers to fix these things. We need people um, to work with the data that they provide them. So it's a, it's a whole career opportunity within itself. So we spend a lot of money. For example, we spent millions of pounds on uh, machines that make our packaging. So rather than ship packaging in from around Europe, we actually make our own tubs on site. So we take little bits of plastic and we mold them in um, to the shape of the tub and we put a label on. So what we need there is we need specialist engineers to work these machines because it's worked by robotics. And we also need specialist operators. So again, that's a whole different part of the industry that people might want to get involved in. I think sometimes you think of engineering as you have to get your hands dirty. It's not about that nowadays. So if you're into computing, for example, then that is the way ahead for um, a lot of the engineering work that we're now needing done. At Mackey's, we've got a food technologist, and the job is to use the science of food and drink um, to work out how you, um, for example, get um, a, a product that would scoop, so a, a soft product, um, but a product that uh, will last a long time, for example, 18 months in your freezer. There's a lot of science behind this. It's far too complicated for me, but that's why we need the individuals um, within our organizations that understand all those things to do with molecules and such like. Um, so it's certainly an area worth thinking about, and that leads on also to new product development. Probably the most exciting area of our company would be new product development, and that's basically trying to come up with the next new flavor or the next new product. So we've always got a, a long list of volunteers for tasting our products, but there's sometimes a bit more to it. So for example, we have got a new um, rhubarb and strawberry flavor. You'll hopefully find a balance of rhubarb and strawberry, and that takes a lot of testing from our new product development department. And even something such as vanilla, there is about 50 different vanillas out there that you can choose from. So that is a very, very exciting job, and that could be one if you're sitting at school and you quite like home economics, then maybe new product development would be for you. Really exciting, you get to see the product go from the very first idea all the way through to your supermarket shelves, um, but also it's one that can um, bring with it great financial rewards. 
So food technology, new product development, um, we have farming and then the likes of engineering. We've also got jobs in the industry for people who are into their art and design. So I think sometimes people would think of that when it comes to food and drink. How does art play um, a role in it? Well, if you can imagine that I tried to sell a tub in your local Tesco in Inverurie here, just a plain white tub, I'm not sure anyone would pick that up. What we've got to do is bring the product to life um, through the people that we've got within our company who have got an artistic flair, and they'll come up with something that really jumps out off the shelves. And then there's the people like me. So apparently it's people who like to talk a lot, because you need to get in amongst it with the customers, you need to bring the products to life for them. Um, and whether that be a big customer such as Tesco, or whether that be a local customer or a direct with a consumer, you have to have that ability um, to chat with them. It's a really exciting job, it's a really rewarding job, and I must admit, if I was choosing to first go into sales, I would think of the food and drink industry as being a really, really exciting one. If you think of selling the likes of ice cream and chocolate, as opposed to, no offence to anyone that sells pipes or drills or any of these bits, um, but I think food and drink is really, really exciting, and it's certainly one that I've enjoyed. And I've enjoyed every single day of my work, and I don't think that's something you can take for granted. And food and drink, I think, is really exciting area for all.